philosophy of uh, head coach Jim Sherman and left-handed reliever Jeff Murray, winning pitcher in tonight's game. Uh, coach, could you start with an opening statement? Well, that's, <laughs> that's the expression called winning ugly. It's better to win that and win ugly than lose it and lose ugly. So I, I feel for John and, and his group at Hofstra. He did a great, great job this year over there, and I want to commend him and his, his, his gang. You know, Hofstra, um, for many years, has you know had some ups and downs as a, with their baseball program, and John's done a, done a great job. So I want to um, you know send out a, a you know a good a good job to John and his staff. So um, game was just you know obviously it was a one inning game that we had ten runs uh, in the seventh inning, and um, that was a difference maker. Um, <laughs> kind of got a little hairy there at the end, and uh, we had one of our main closers, Richter, in and. Uh, sometimes he does just have some struggles of, of finding the zone. And um, uh, then we went with Buckland. Buckland had been thrown well the last third of the year. And uh, then we just, we knew, you know, Jeffrey here, oh, South Paul, that just can chuck the ball over the plate. And we knew that's all we needed in that situation. And Jeffrey gets the final two outs and we win. So that's it. As you look at that big inning, um was there a key moment where it sort of went from just being a good inning to you could tell it kind of gotten away from you? Well, there were so many ugly moments. <laughs> I mean, let's let's face it. I mean, it really was. I mean, they had some tough breaks go against them. There was a banger at first base, a banger at second base. Um, you know, fisted ball here, another fisted ball that checked and rolled away from the shortstop. Um, you know, it was it was it was it was an ugly inning. You know, thank God for us that. You know, we were on the, the good end of it and the offensive end of it, and it was a big 10-run inning. So, um, I mean, our guys are excited, you know, and, uh, you know, we got to figure out the arm situation. And when you come through the loser's bracket, and if you've seen these tournaments over the years, you, you just got to figure it out sometime later tonight, you know, how we're going to do it, patch it two innings here, three innings there, and, and just go after the first game the best we can because there's no second game we can't win the first. Well, you got to win it. You know, it was kind of playing out like a game, and Jeff might have heard me or some other guys in the dugout. We're playing this game like it's a midweek game. You know, there's some ugly games midweek. You know, you may be using a young kid on the mound, or you're using some younger guys positionally. And and this year, our struggle was midweek, and we lost a lot of games midweek, and we and we didn't play very well. We played ugly. Um, am I right? You know, I mean, we did. Week. Yeah, yeah. week. We did a lot, and we and we lost those games. So, you know, fortunately for us, that that, that you know, we played a little ugly at times, and um, um, they kind of had some moments not playing real well. And the Big Ten inning you know, run was was the difference maker. What, what is the emotion at the end? I mean, are you excited, or is it just relief when it's you just want to get through this one? What were you thinking? I mean, it's a little relief just because you know the first batter I faced, you know, like. Richter and Buckland, I was struggling to find, you know, find the zone. And then afterwards, after that third strike, there was definitely a lot of excitement and, you know, joy. So. One of the things in midweek games is you usually have a real pretty set plan of I'm going to throw this guy, this guy. In these games, are, are you guys in the bullpen, are you prepared? Do you know, okay, I'm up next, or, or is it totally kind of – Well, with, <laughs> with the tournament, it's been a little – you know, not as structured, especially going today, you know, our first loser's bracket game, we knew today could possibly, or this game could possibly be our, our last game. So going into today, we talked as a staff and, you know, we, you know, even from, you know, from me to Eric Young, who pitched yesterday through 130 pitches yesterday, we all knew that we all had to be ready at some point today, just in case, you know, we did go to extra innings or we did struggle like we, you know, we did. So obviously abuse a lot of harms at this point. You know the guys in the bullpen. With you. Do you have enough pitching to get through two more games and win this thing? Oh, I think so. If we keep it mixed, and uh, you know, and fortunately everyone is healthy, and they've stayed healthy throughout the year, which I think is huge going into tomorrow, since we're going to have to play, you know, 18 innings ideally. So, but yeah, I think we'll be good. Going back up against UNCW, coach, what do you take away from today's earlier game in preparation for tomorrow? Well, you know, it's two contrasting games. I mean, the, the game against UNC Wilmington, and you guys witnessed it, and that was a good college baseball game. I mean, it doesn't get any better in that game. And then we come back tonight, and, you know, it's like I said, it's an ugly, ugly win. Um, we can't do that against UNC Wilmington. 
There's just no way. Um, you know, we got to play it close to the best. We got to make all the plays. We got to pitch well. We got to hit in situations. Um, we we got to play as well as we can play, and um, well, we're capable of doing that. Uh, and we showed it earlier today. 18 innings is, is a lot. You know, for a lot of young guys throughout our lineup, you know, we have some experienced guys. You know, DJ Longs and Ferdinands, uh, but we do have a very, very young team, and it's a lot of innings. And um, um, you know, Devin Pearson jumped in there, who pitched, you know, just the other day, and we stretched him that outing uh, in relief, and he comes back out today. So he got tired a little bit right at the end there. And Buckland was stretched the other day. He t typically is an inning guy. We stretched him to three innings. Um, so. These guys are, um, you know, they're they're battling, and you know, their arms aren't feeling as great. So I think that played a little bit into it, but we'll be ready. There's no doubt about it, and I know Mark knows we will be.